Legends away, so dubs on the run No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt Witness the sack, just give it a rub Cause who knows what you'll find Toy hunting with dub Hey friends, here we are again Another monthly Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot Unboxing, I have one, two huge piles of loot Well, one pile of loot, two huge boxes one really big box, one regular size box, if I'm honest with you, um, from my August Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot. But before we get to the unboxing, don't forget, use the hashtag BDubFit ah! for all of your social media posts. Tell me one positive thing that you've done for yourself, mentally, physically, emotionally, or otherwise. Uh, to help improve your overall well-being and enter to win prizes all month long all month long in the comments uh, as you're watching this it's right at the end of august i'm filming this august 29th i'm going to put it up to download or to upload for august 30th and you still have time to enter uh, at the end of august we are going to give away uh four 25 dollars paypal deposits in your paypal as well as a signed destro Duke or Major Blood. I think those are the three we have left with the Yojo. Uh, I guess Rufus was excited. Uh, whatever I was saying, a signed uh, Duke reaction figure by the voice actor, Major Blood reaction figure, or Destro reaction figure, all by the voice actors. That will be in a Yojo giveaway. You'll find out more about that uh, tomorrow, probably, in the hunt video where we will announce also the 5,000 subscriber winner for this week. I think that'll be the third winner of the 5,000 subscribers, so two more to come. Uh, so stay tuned for the hunt video tomorrow, and you'll learn more about all the various giveaways as we wrap up August. Um, and of course, in the link below, since this video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store, uh, please click the link down and below in the description. Uh, it is my affiliate link for Big Bad Toy Store, and uh, you don't have to buy anything. If you just click it, browse, window shop, uh, all that helps. Uh, if you pre-order, it certainly helps. If you buy, it certainly helps, whatever the case may be. Uh, every penny that they have provided uh, has been given away as part of hashtag BDubFit. And we are very thankful to the folks at Big Bad Toy Store. I think this is the fourth month of our collaboration, and uh, they seem to be happy with the way it's going. And that's because of you using the link, clicking it, viewing it, browsing it. Uh, and we're giving all that away. So the more that it's used, the more we can give away. I'm thankful to, uh, to the folks at Big Bad Toy Store uh, for all their help with Beat Up Fit. We also are gonna have some other, uh, we do have one new collaborator that wants to help us um, with at least one video. You'll see that coming up pretty soon here in the next couple weeks when we do a full collection video and uh, excited to show you that. But for now, you're here to see what's in these boxes. Uh, it is our birthday week. Uh, my birthday's in a couple days. The Natalie's and Kaya's all in a row uh, as we go into Labor Day weekend, Dragon Con weekend for us, which we're going to. Uh, so some of the items in here I will not be showing you because I'm going to post this video before those birthdays and some of them may be birthday presents. So I may not show you everything that's in these two boxes, but I'll show you a lot of it. So let's get going with box number one. Now this is the smaller of the two boxes, still a good size box, but definitely the smaller of the two boxes. Uh, I do know a fair amount of what's in some of these, but I don't remember everything, as normal. Sometimes I don't know anything that's up because I haven't paid attention. I do know a fair amount of what's coming here, and a lot of it is stuff for me that I'm excited about. So we open up. You see they always package things really nice, great bubble wrap. Uh, I think they're Tetris experts there at the Big Bad Toy Store. They really do a lot of work uh, making things fit. We appreciate that. Uh, and their boxes are really good also so i do i do appreciate their boxes so let's get going and see what's in box number one we have from super seven thundercats captain hammerhead i think this is what wave five of thundercats maybe six i don't remember uh so we've got captain hammerhead we've got one i'm very excited for vulture man vulture man and other the mutants this wave, I think people are saying, is the best wave yet of the Super 7 Thundercats. We've got Bengali, Super 7 Thundercats. And we have Mirrorverse, Mirror Version, Lino. I'm not super happy about that. That is now my third Lino, so they're certainly reusing that mold, repainting it. We have the 
SDCC snowman uh, or the snowman hook mountain version. The cold version that changes colors outside, that's cool. Good for an exclusive. Uh, but this mirror version line, oh, so that's three. Plus they're doing the LJN line all coming up. So yeah, it's not, not great, but it is what it is. Uh, this I'm not going to show you because that is a present for Kyle for her birthday. And then there's two other things we've got. Oh, I'm very excited for this. The 3.0 NBLX Optimus Prime. Uh, this is similar to that, uh, or it's the same line as the 3.0 Bumblebee that I opened. Uh, it's been several months ago on the channel. Uh, these are tiny, really small. I don't know what scale you could call it because what scale is a transforming robot? Um, as one to one, but they're small, right? They uh, probably six inch type of figures. Super articulated, they look great. They look like they're big Transformers. I'm really excited to get this Optimus added to the shelf. Uh, and then I'm very, very excited for this from 3-0 Game of Thrones, Sir Jorah Mormont from season eight. Sir Jorah, one of the best characters in my opinion uh, in Game of Thrones the whole way through. Really, really enjoyed Jorah. Had to get this up by Daenerys. And as you saw in Dub Life, we're in the middle and now we're basically done with a bunch of rearranging around the house. So all these things like immediately have homes. I know where the homes are and that makes me happy. Uh, so pleased with this, pleased with all these guys. Uh, I think that's a good start to box one. There is one other item in here. It's a decent item, expensive item, but it's part of Kaya's birthday present. So I'm not gonna show you that just in case she happens to see the video. Let's move to box number two. Box number two, way bigger box. I know a lot of what's in here. <laughs> And it is a very late delayed set of stuff. Um, uh, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or not. So it may be for sale in the eBay store. Uh, definitely look in the link in the description if you're interested in buying anything from us on eBay. Uh, but I really try to fulfill my pre-orders when I make them. Even, you know, one of the major advantages of Big Bad Toy Store is almost all of their pre-orders have non-refundable deposit. You can cancel at any point, no issue. Um, but I, I don't like to be that type of customer. I really try to fulfill my pre-orders. And if it's a thing I don't want anymore by the time it comes in, then I'll sell it myself. Um, but I don't want to impact the business because it's not their fault. If I made a pre-order, I need to stay committed to it. Now, more expensive things, hot toys, nicer statues and so forth. I think probably it's anything over 200 bucks. They do put a 10% NRD, non-refundable deposit down. Most of the stuff they don't. Uh, again, I only am going to talk to you about a product that I believe in and that I use my own money for. I will never, I say I will never, I want to say I will never, bring you information about a product that was given to me for free and I've never spent my own money on it. I, I just don't, I don't think that helps you. I wanna show you something that I'm willing to spend my own money on before asking you to spend your own money on it. So uh, anything I'm showing you, I've spent my own money on. Just keep that in mind as we go forward. But for these things, uh, that, may get in your way. Uh, once again, you're gonna see right away, there's a lot here at the front, well packaged, and it's going to be a huge amount, huge amount of Series 1 of Action Force. Big Bad Toy Store got their Series 1 Action Force so delayed, nice sticker, think of that Kyle. So delayed that all this stuff is showing up really, really late. I mean, I think a year later. And in some cases, uh, but still glad to have it. Let's see what we got. A swarm trooper. These are really cool, actually. Really, really nice figures. Um, I would recommend the swarm trooper. I think they're hard to get, they're the ones that sell out. Swarm trooper. Two of those. I'm probably getting multiples of a lot of this. Yep. Another swarm trooper. Another swarm trooper. That's four of those. Oh boy. Here we go again with the troop building. And I just put a bunch of my armies away, you're gonna see in Sunday's video. The fifth swarm trooper. Now again, some of this I probably will sell. Uh, this is version one, Sergeant Slaughter. I have a version two action for Sergeant Slaughter that I did keep on display. First time I've had a version one. Uh, looks good. I'm not sure which one I like more. This one's more traditional, but with Hasbro come with the classified Sergeant Slaughter. You know, I don't know that that's as much in demand anymore. Uh, Kirak. Nice bearded figure. Guess I should shove it in back because you can't really see through the glare. A second Karak. This is getting out of control already. Two Sergeant Slaughters. Uh, a third Karak. Uh, Steel Brigade. There was also a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive Steel Brigade, which I did get. 
in series two. Uh, this is an actual, was a character in G.I. Joe, I believe, in Action Force. So I may hang on to that one. They all look good. I'm just, I have thinned down so much the collection that I, I just don't need all this. A second Steel Brigade, a third Steel Brigade. Um, I just don't need them. I, I, you know, I'm trying to be Super 7 Thundercats, Super 7 Ninja Turtles, Super 7 G.I. Joe, which we haven't got any of yet, and Transformers. NECA Turtles, G.I. Joe Classified, and that's it in the small scale. Here and there, a random, like that Optimus Prime, just a, a very random figure, like the Sentinel into the Spider-Verse figures, things that I can enjoy with the girls. But things that I'm not enjoying with the girls are just basically G.I. Joe and Ninja Turtles and Thundercats. That's it. Anything else is going to be in the anime or Marvel world that we're doing together. This is where I'm at. Uh, another Sergeant Slaughter with a hat falling down over his head. Uh, so that's four Sergeant Slaughters. My goodness, Brian, what are we doing? Uh, a bone collector, a very cool looking figure with a bone mask. That's nice. Second bone collector. Oh boy. Third bone collector. There is a lot of action force in this thing. Uh, we have Condor. I don't think I've shown you that one. Condor. Second Condor. Third Condor. You can tell when I ordered this, I planned to have a big Action Force army. But, uh, and I may still yet. You never know. Then we got a whole bunch of the weapon specs. So they have this Big Bad Toy Store exclusive declassified gear set. This, you can take it, put it on your G.I. Joe classified original release Gung Ho and make a more modern looking version of Gung Ho. Or I'm, I'm not modern, a uh, classic version. However, before I got this in my hand, because it just came from Big Bad, it was delayed, uh, we got the retro card gung ho, which I think looks better than with the set. But I have one, two, two of those, three of those, three of those, those sets. Uh, so you can do that. Wonderful. Uh, then let's see. So these uh, special ops, Republic Guard, these are basically just the figure with hands. And then they've got a bunch of gear sets. So I've got Riot Guard, Special Ops Guard. It's black, it's blue. I got this one as Urban Combat Guard, it's camo. So you see they're kind of different, um, just different colors, kind of plain army builders. And then they've got things like this, Riot Gear Set. So you can build it up however you want to. So I think I got a bunch of those. There's two more Special Ops Guards. Uh, Urban gear set, so backpacks and knives and what have you. Another Republic Guard. I probably have three of each of all of this, honestly, because that's probably how I was building the set. Backpack set. I mean, and these sets are like 10, 12 bucks for a bunch of weapons and backpacks and what have you. I mean, it's pretty, they're pretty nice. Well, you know, and you could use them with other figures, certainly. Uh, swarm gear set, so you use this with those swarm troopers. You give them wings and a shield and a big gun. I'm sure I have several of those. Yeah, I got three of those, it looks like. Three of those. And oh, this is a lot of action force. This is a lot of action force. Finally getting near the end of it. More Republic cards, urban guards, riot guards. So three each of these army builders, it looks like I've got. One, two, three. Yeah, three each. And then th probably three each of the gear sets, maybe. Maybe only one each of the gear sets. Then they got the weapons packs. Weapons pack Bravo, see that? It's just guns and muzzle flares. These are really nice. Uh, Alpha, Alpha, Bravo, Bravo. So like for your McFarlane figures, DC figures that you're not getting uh, guns for right now. Grab those, I got two of each of those. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen, it's ridiculous. Uh, now, we've got finally G.I. Joe classified Storm Shadow. If you've been watching the hunt videos, I've been looking for that for quite a while. Finally got it. <laughs> Another Cobra Officer, which I have a bunch of. So this is that wave. This is that full wave. Another Cobra Officer. Uh, I thought I had gotten all my Cobra Officers. Another Storm Shadow. So I ordered two of the entire wave because it's one to keep in box, one to open. Although I don't have any armies open anymore and I'm just opening one of each figure. 
spirit, which looks great. And then the second spirit, that looks great. So the new way of the GI Joe class line <coughs> that I haven't been able to find. Then let's see, present, 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 present. Those are six presents for Natalie. This is the last item I'll show you. This is the Sentinel uh, Iron Spider. Uh, I'll actually take the paper off this because I know I'm going to open it. Uh, the Sentinel like armored version or whatever they're calling this, fighting armor. That where they've made them all look like Iron Man figures. So I am collecting that line. They're die cast. They're shiny. They look really nice. So I am collecting that. I think Thor has gone up for pre-order and Black Panther, maybe Loki. So the Iron Spider was the only one I was missing. Uh, I think it got released originally, but then it was a pre-order and I didn't have it, whatever. So that's where we're at. That is this month's Big Bad Toy Store Pile Loot. Again, please, if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy what we do with hashtag BeatUpFit, please just click the link, window shop, look at some of this stuff, look at their Action Force stuff. I think they sell plenty in stock if you're interested in it. Uh, look at the Sentinel stuff, whatever. I really help support what we're doing helps us give things away and, and progress. So I appreciate the folks at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, thank you all, of course, for watching this video. Remember, use the hashtag BWFit in the comments, all of that. And on and on we go. A whole bunch of stuff. Some of this is going to be for sale at eBay Store. I'm going to tell you that right now. Check it out below. I'll talk to you next time. Squeeze it!